CBS 6 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. Breaking news causing concern across the country tonight. A possible hot air balloon crash in central Virginia. These are pictures that were sent to us of that balloon shortly after it caught fire. Good evening, I'm Bill Fitzgerald. I'm Stephanie Roshan. Investigators say a pilot and at least two passengers are missing after that balloon caught fire shortly before 8 o'clock tonight. The Caroline County Sheriff's Office and State Police are searching the area around Meadow Event Park, even from the air where the Mid-Atlantic Balloon Festival was being held this evening. Police were called in when people said they saw a balloon on fire. We have team coverage tonight for you. We begin with Chelsea Rare who joins us live from the Meadow Pavilion in Chelsea. What have police said about the evidence of that crash? Well, police haven't given much details yet, but here's what we know right now. Troopers and other crews are actively searching the ground for any possible wreckage. They tell us that based on witness accounts, it appears that a hot air balloon caught fire on the gondola portion of the balloon. Witnesses also say it crashed somewhere off Ruther Glen Road. That's northeast here of the Meadow Event Fairground. Once again, troopers are continuing to search. The FAA, the FAA is also on scene assisting with this investigation. Now, right now, there are no um, injuries or deaths confirmed. Confirmed, but state police do tell us they believe that a pilot and two passengers were on that hot air balloon and here's what they know about them so far. And we've been actively searching uh, since we received notice of this shortly before 8 o'clock. At this point, we've found no wreckage. Uh, we have no confirmation of any injuries or deaths. Uh, however, based on witness accounts, it does appear that a hot air balloon uh, did catch fire. Once again, troopers still start searching for any type of, of wreckage and based on witness accounts that the gondola portion of that hot air balloon caught fire. We were expecting to get an update around 1040 on any more details, but we're still awaiting those from state police guys. Chelsea, we've also heard that the event is now canceled for the weekend. Um, have you been able to talk to anybody who was visiting that area? What's the mood like there now? Well, it's really empty here right now, but I was talking to event organizers earlier today who did tell me that the event for this weekend has been canceled. They really couldn't say anything else, but they did want to reiterate that the event was canceled and they apologize for anyone who had purchased tickets in advance, Steph. Thank you, Chelsea. And now we go to our John Burkett, who continues our team coverage now. He's been following.